In the wake of an ISIS terror campaign that appears to have claimed almost 400 lives in three weeks, in three separate sophisticated attacks in three different countries, bipartisan House efforts to try to keep ISIS out of this country are leading to a showdown with President Obama tonight. And incidents of Syrians caught attempting to enter the U.S. are emphasizing for both sides of the argument the incredibly high stakes involved. We begin tonight on Capitol Hill with Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel. Despite a veto threat, 47 House Democrats split with President Obama and helped to pass a bill designed to tighten up the screening of refugees from Iraq and Syria. Speaker Paul Ryan called the measure common sense. Our own law enforcement experts are telling us they don't have confidence that they can detect or block with the current standards in place that ISIL or ISIS is not trying to infiltrate the refugee population. This is an urgent matter and that is why we're dealing with this urgently. Fellow top Republicans said lawmakers should heed the warnings from ISIS. Their objective is evil for the sake of evil, murder for the sake of murder, wanton and willful violence, premeditated depravity calculated to take innocent lives. And the terrorists have been very open about their present and future objectives, and we should therefore be equally clear about our objectives. Some congressional Democrats expressed concern that the standards set by the bill, having the heads of the FBI, Homeland Security, and the Director of National Intelligence personally certify each refugee is not a threat, was impossible to meet. This irresponsible bill that would effectively block the settlement of Syrian refugees in the United States for years. In the Senate, leading Democrats say the measure is unnecessary and are pledging to block the bill. I've been disgusted, Mr. President, in recent days to see some of my Republican colleagues shun the American tradition of displaying compassion for those in need, of sheltering those fleeing death, torture, rape, and oppression. We have the most rigorous screenings for those who enter our country as refugees than any other group of, of people who are not Americans. Ahead of the vote in Manila, President Obama defended the refugees. The idea that somehow um, they pose a more significant threat than all the tourists who pour into the United States every single day just doesn't jive with reality. The speaker said this is not a partisan issue and the president should accept the bill. Let me, let me comment about his veto threat. It baffles me. I, I just for the life of me don't understand um, why uh, his veto threat uh, came as it did. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says there should be at least a pause in the refugee process to make sure the proper screenings and policies are in place. Senate sources note the strong vote in the House shows their bipartisan support for doing something. Brett. Mike Emanuel, live on the Hill. Mike, thank you.